Hello everyone. In this video, let's ask our cards, what does this person think, feel, intend towards you today? This reading is for romantic interests more, but if you'd like to think of any person, you're welcome to do that. So, please, think of that person or persons and choose a deck or decks and we will start our reading. Have you chosen? So let's start with our deck number one, Morgan Greer, Tarot in a Tin deck. What does this person think about you? Will this person think that you are going through a lot and <clears throat> you might be upset about things, you might be in depression, in some sort of difficult emotional state, um, maybe it's a major life change or a major something in life. We can see that they might think that you seem to be a little crazy right now, hormonal or something like that. Um, it can be that something very serious happened in life, some sort of serious, important revelation or something for you. And, you know, that it's not an easy kind of process. And um, as a result, you might be a little bit confused and down at the moment. So something like that. Also, it can be for some people that... Let's say maybe you're slightly upset about your family. Maybe there's some sort of separation, arguments. Um, and that makes you sad. Now, let's have a look at what do they feel? What do they feel? They feel helpless here. I feel they don't know what to do. They feel just totally also confused maybe that they cannot help it, they cannot do anything, you know, um, maybe that it's too late to change something, maybe there was, um, maybe they also got to know something um, about themselves and you, the relationship where they feel disappointed and sad. And there is a sense of low, low self-esteem maybe <clears throat> towards them. You know, that they cannot do anything to help you or they are powerless to help you. Or it's not they in their power to kind of guide you or help you, something like that. Their intentions towards you today... So, I don't know what is your relationship, but um, if it's a married couple, if it's a couple, they definitely want to keep that relationship going. They want to cling into you no matter what. They want to be with you. They want to love you. They want to take care of you. Um, and they want to preserve this. Whatever you have, this happiness, this being together, this family, this... Um, can be financial situation for some people. If there is some sort of uh, stability, then they want to preserve that stability as well. So uh, this was our reading number one. This person seems to be aware of your emotions and of your experiences right now, but they're not judging you, I feel. They are empathize, empathizing with you and they want to get through this with you but they might not speak ab about it a lot because they feel that um, they're not competent to help you or something so but whatever they can you know what's in their power basically they don't want to get away from you yeah they don't want to 
So this was our reading number one. Let's move on to our deck number two. Our deck number two. Running press tarot deck mini. So what does this person think about you? They think you're very educated, very intelligent, and you're very confident, and you're well off in life, you're an achiever, you're achieved, you you've achieved things, you know. So like they might look at you as um, like a guide, mentor, or some sort of um, helper, yeah. They might look up to you, like you're the leader, the intellectual leader, the teacher maybe, the example, the um, I'm impressed by your knowledge and by your success. They might want to follow you. So they think you're a very, very smart and capable person, basically. Now, feelings. Well, feelings are a little bit interesting. Uh, feelings um, can be a mixture of fear, anxiety, and it can be a mixture of insecurities. Um, they, they might be ready to fight even with you. And they have a lot of feelings when it comes to you, but they're very, very strong and emotional and deep. There is fear, a little bit anxiety, like they're worried how will they be with you, what will they tell you, how will it go, something like that. They feel small maybe with you inexperienced you know like a student like a beginner in, in some areas and basically um, but also there's a element of they want to learn something you know from you and there is shyness as well shyness let's have a look at their intentions towards you Intentions are, they want to open up to you, they want to um, kind of mentally express something about society, about public, how public makes them feel. And basically, it looks like they want to complain about something or shout about something you know that they're not happy about maybe some friends other people maybe they want to <coughs> just <coughs> come at you and complain you know like can you help me you know this and this and this this world is annoying me and i cannot understand these things you know so they just want to explode so to say in front of you and it can it can be related to you know the life, the people, the, the some sort of others, you know, it can be something like um, interests, hobbies, you know, like this person is frustrated about something and they want to like talk to you about it. And they have lots of feelings uh, gathered up there. So there is an element of also anxiety and, but they are gonna come and they are gonna express themselves here. So, this is our reading number two. Let's move on to our reading number three. Deck number three. Right away in a ten deck. Their thoughts, feelings, intentions towards you right now. Their thoughts. about you it can be they are very um, worried <clears throat> about you in a way that because you're worried about some maybe man or husband or <clears throat> the children that you have it can be they are aware of you being oppressed by some masculine power and they are basically seeing that and they see you crying about 
maybe your husband, your partner, maybe your family. Maybe that it can be just some sort of very strong, very assertive, very masculine, active power energy in your life that you complain to them about and that they see you are upset about something in that, you're worried about that area. So they see you worried about that. can be also confidence issues and fear of coming out into the world and being visible and pursuing some sort of business with confidence, you know, confidence issues. Some, some people can also be too, too strong and too like possessive and dominant and all that. So that person might see you as even being that dominant one. Unhappy, but still dominant. Feelings. What do they feel about you? I feel there is an element wanting to run away, wanting to escape maybe, due to difficult burden to carry, and basically some sort of postponement. Um, and eventually, what well, I would say very heavy feelings, yeah? There is something like a sacrifice at some point, like uh, they're willing to listen to you, they're willing to be with you and bear all your complaints and all your uh, worries and kind of drag this relationship and be there for you. But I think that they really are struggling with that. Um, they might even feel it. You might be an energetic vampire, you know, with these cards here. And they might feel like just running away, just like leaving everything and just escaping the situation. Because it might be just a little burden, burdensome, burdensome for them. What are their intentions? So here we have some sort of um, good intentions. I think these intentions... Um, can be work related, financial, study related, some sort of help, some sort of promises that they wanted to fulfill. Maybe it's um, um, financial promises, maybe it's just some sort of security related promises, can be um, just being with you somewhere, studying with you, doing things with you, you know, so they kind of want to be again with you and fulfill those plans that they wanted to fulfill before maybe work with you pay you employ you you know these type of things so it can point to it can point to um some sort of working relationship but more also intellectual relationships somehow maybe Uh, this relationship is similar like a tarot reader relationship with, for example, I don't know, a client or some relationship where this person learns a lot about themselves. And it can also have something to do with occult psychology. It can to do with secret sciences. So I don't know what kind of relationship are you in and what kind of job this is what kind of service or favor but it could be that it's something spiritual okay let's move on to our deck number four we're asking what does this person think of you today You think you're very strong, you're very successful, you don't take any nonsense from other people, you fight for yourself, you know, you might be also sometimes seen as 
you know, competitive and um, not afraid to, you know, protect herself, defend herself. As someone very um, articulate as a person, someone very strong and, and you know, kind of down to earth, I would say. Could be that also you have some sort of protection by from a powerful person or let's say you are with a powerful person as well. So we can say they see you as manly, they see you as strong, they see you as um, in a manager position if you work. And, or they could see that you have a husband or a partner who's like that or a father who's like protective and all over the place and basically you're kind of in their shadows so these cards kind of overpowering you even and this person sees you through these power cards so to see what are the feelings towards you there is love um there is the sense of love but there is a sense of also um, trying to restrict that love and try not to feel so this person <clears throat> naturally they have feelings for you like it can be romantic feelings it can be love it can be a crush like or just a uh, love that is about to be born it can be that they like you but these cards say that they're trying not to like you. They're trying to suppress these. Because they don't want that. They don't want these emotions coming in here. They might think that's going to complicate things. And they're just trying to protect themselves from, from that love. What are their intentions towards you? So either they are really worried about the situation with you, it seems that they were the most about some emotional part of that situation, about uh, maybe a love situation. So it seems like they, because they're afraid of that, they might want to, um, let's say, separate or they want to uh, split or something like that. They don't want to um, grow this relationship for some reason. Uh, there is some problem that they have those emotions. They don't want to feel those emotions. And they want to kind of uh, maybe just end it, you know, end it or somehow, up, you know, say, I'm sorry, I'm going to do this, that sort of thing. What's the main reason why can't they feel, don't want to feel? Maybe it's a working relationship and they don't want to make it a love relationship, you know, to complicate it. Maybe they think it's unfair. Maybe they think it's uh, against their some sort of uh, beliefs or values or some rules or truth. So they have an inner conflict going on about these feelings. And they think that situation should be practical and professional. So that's why they don't want to feel anything. So this is our reading number four. Thank you for watching this video. I hope to see you again soon. Bye-bye.